So, Dishonored 2 launched yesterday and there are multiple people having a plethora of various different issues. And no, I'm not talking about this guy, I'm talking about frame rate, audio and mouse issues. Now, in the past my channel was known for finding the best ways to increase FPS in multiple different games. A couple months ago I made a tutorial which covered absolutely every single game so I could call it a day on these kind of videos and focus on my better content such as technology reviews, funny moments or commentaries on PC centric ideas. However, being a person who has been looking forward to this game since the first title launch, I thought I'd give this one a special treatment. I wanted to make it a playable experience for myself by using tips and tweaks I gathered online and by my own workings also. I thought, why not share these tips with you guys who have spent £40 on a game you simply cannot run? Greetings everyone, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase FPS in Dishonored 2 and fix all of the nasty issues that seem to have played the game um, or the vast majority of people upon its release. I will say before I start, if you're under the minimum required specs or somewhere between minimum and recommended, then you will have little hope of seeing this game run accordingly. These tips will help, but the most beneficent thing that you can do is to refund the game and wait for it to get fixed. The game runs like shit on AMD too, unfortunately I have no AMD hardware to test the game um, and also what works for Team Red, so you'll have to do your own research there. I will also refer you to my global FPS tutorial if this one doesn't help. You've seen footage from the very start of the game. Inside the palace there was frame pacing issues, mouse issues, stuttering and a few audio issues too. The mouse or stutter for whatever reason isn't too apparent in the recordings but I can assure you it is there. There is also plenty of examples online to look at too. Our FPS when all the settings were maxed out at 1440p except for HBAO Plus saw lows of about 38 FPS when we get outside the city uh, with tanks and stuttering to sometimes even lower and looking at large structures with a lot going on, such as a uh, light gate with a few spotlights and densely packed guards. The FPS, however, averaged to be just under 60 FPS, but this doesn't mean it was playable. Not by a long shot. The highest it possibly went was about 80 FPS when looking at the ground or out to sea, but now let's tinker with a few settings and shit, um, although make sure that before you start this tutorial you have launched the game and have gone into the settings menu and changed one or two things as this creates a config file uh, which we will be changing a bit later on. Now some clever dude on reddit decided to go against the idea for downloading the latest game ready drivers and actually downloaded some older drivers instead. Nvidia messed something up at some point because these ones work better than the game ready drivers. If you follow the links in the description you'll be greeted with this page. Just click the download button and it will start the download for Nvidia driver 373.06. After the download is done extract it to the desktop and run it. Go through the installation making sure you press custom installation and then tell it to perform a clean installation which means it will get rid of some of your previous drivers and then install these ones on a fresh new slate. Now we're going to open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Do this by right clicking on the desktop and selecting NVIDIA Control Panel. Upon loading go to Manage 3D Settings. In here we're going to be changing a number of things. First up, set Multi Display Box to whatever is in accordance with your setup. I at the moment only have one monitor hooked up, so I'll set that to Single Display Performance Mode only. Next up is Power Mode, set that to High Performance. Next up is Pre-Rendered Frames, set that to 1. The next is VSync. Some people were having issues with it on and some people were having issues with it off. For the majority however, a lot of the stutter is cleared up with it being set to on or set to adaptive sync or even set to fast sync. Try out the different options and see what works best for you. Now we're going to be delving into the game files and doing some tinkering. As I said before, you have to have gone into the game and changed a few settings first before you do this step. So open up Windows Explorer and head to C Drive. Users, your name, saved games, Arcane Studios, Dishonored 2, Base, and then open up Dishonored2Config.cfg with a text editing tool. I've used Notepad++, but any software will do. Pay attention and change the following settings. Arc Player Aim Friction Strength Mouse should be set to 0, as should the one below it stating Auto Aim. Next find Fog Blur Radius and change that value to anywhere from 1 to 5. Hit the save button at the top and then exit out of the program. We'll finish this off by opening up Task Manager. You can do this by clicking the Start button and typing it in. Close any programs that are taking up a lot of CPU resources and then go to the Details tab. After that, launch Dishonored 2 and wait for the game to load up. Once the game has loaded up, press Alt and Tab together and find Dishonored 2 in Task Manager. 
right click, click set priority and then select high. If you get audio issues or stutter, drop it down to above normal and that should sort it out. Now let's get into the game and adjust some video settings. So we're in game and even before we change the video settings we're getting much better FPS in the same area as before and you will also notice a big reduction in stuttering and mouse issues. Let's see how far we can take this though. Just follow the settings I change, it will all be summed up in the, in the description if you don't fancy watching and then afterwards I'll have a bit of a benchmark at the end. Okay so let's change some of the settings. Straight off the bat we're going to change the resolution, now dropping the resolution down to, for me anyway, 1080p does uh, give you a big boost in FPS. Adaptive resolution will scale down your resolution when things get a bit hectic on scene, so if you want to keep um, the visual quality exactly the same then just keep it on, but if not then drop it down to 75 or even lower in percentage. We want to set VSync to off because we've got that enabled in the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, windowed and full screen performance by tweaking this setting varies on the person so just fiddle around with it and see what works for you. HBAO plus should be kept off. Environment details, those should be set to low or medium. View distance should be set to low or medium. Shadow quality, low or medium. Fog quality, low or medium and anti-aliasing. This should be set to off or FXAA. TXAA makes your game more blurry and it is really not a good solution for anti-aliasing. Volumetric lighting, god rays, rat shadows and blood fly shadows all do take up quite a lot of performance so setting those to off uh, does clear up the game a fair bit. If we go into controls now uh, you'll want to make sure that on mouse setup, mouse smoothing is set to zero and make sure it's off and auto aim strength is on absolute zero. Now if you increase the sensitivity a bit to like 20 or 25 um, then it does make the uh, the mouse seem a bit, um, well not smoother but a bit more, a bit sharper I guess. So if you apply the settings, come back out into the game, you can now see that dramatically our FPS has increased. Looking over here we're getting about 100. Um, looking over here, we're getting now about 80 when we were getting 50 or 55-ish. So yeah, big, big increase. Oh no! Thank you so much for watching this performance guide, if you're still having issues then comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Every system is different so don't be expecting this to cure all of your problems, however that is no reason to not be optimistic. If you want a further FPS boost, click this video on screen or go into the description down below as it has a plethora of different tips you can use to boost your frames massively. If this tutorial helped you out then do be sure to share it with a friend and on reddit and if you like the video then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face and I will see you guys in the next one. Terra. Fuck me.